Pod. And we continue the action here. Barry Tompkins, Michael Koenig alongside some of the best poker players in the world and a very talented amateur as well. Cash game, remember, Phil Ivey, ace three suited. Lindgren, ace queen. Both will limp in. Kagawa gets out of there. Antonius with pocket eights. What do you do with this, Mike? Well, those limps in front look pretty weak. But uh, Tony is cutting out a raise. 3,800. Croc has no bite. Phil Ivey, ace little. And he's going to re-raise to 11,000. A guy who smooth calls in opening position and then re-raises a razor typically has a very big hand. But Antonius knows that's Phil Ivey. He can probably have just about any two cards. And we've seen him do this in the past. Antonius gives up nothing in expression. I will say that. Of course, neither does Phil Ivey. He makes the call. Good action. Croc doing a little bit of our job. To the flop. Four, Trey, Queen. Bottom pair for Ivy. Antonia still with the best hand. 16,000, so Ivy pushing it. Now, Antonius knows that Phil Ivy is capable of making that bet with queens, threes, fours, or some sort of draw. And he does get a call. And now a five on the turn. That gives Ivy a gut shot straight draw. Antonius, as you see, big favorite here. Ivy's going to continue to press, it looks. Oh, is he? 40,000 into the impassive face of Antonius. There's two ways for Antonius to read that bet. Either that Phil Ivy has a big hand and doesn't want Antonius to draw, or he's trying to buy the pot. All in. All in, he says. All in. Really putting the pressure right back on Phil Ivy. Very strong play there by Antonius, and I think it helps his read here that his opponent is Phil Ivy. A lot of players can't make that kind of bet without a huge hand. What happened? Crockett left, just makes an appearance again. Very crucial point right here. And because Phil Ivey is the kind of player who can make a $40,000 cash bet with nothing, Antonius knows that his pair of eights very often rates to be the best hand here. And, you know, also, opening in first position there, as Phil Ivey did, he could have a hand like ace-king, of diamonds, which would be a fabulous hand to semi-bluff with. Would you like to ask the audience? I'll find a friend. Again, a running commentary. Maybe not quite appropriate here with $215,800 in the pot. Dollars, I repeat. Ivy's still thinking. Ah, you're winning on the golf course. Don't worry about it. Not getting a lot of laughs from that. No, and, and that's really distracting and completely inappropriate. Guy's not in the hand. He needs to be quiet and watch. Meanwhile, Phil Ivey's trying to puzzle this out. Is Antonius himself on a flush draw? You know, and I think right now, Phil Ivey's also doing the pot out calculations. It would cost him about 80000 more, and he folds it. Wow. Why's that, Mr. Antonius? Patrick Antonius looking calm outwardly. I'm sure his heart is beating like a hummingbird. And as to Phil Ivey, tough, tough way to go down. As they say here in Australia, he's going walkabout. And, Barry, I think Phil Ivey is genuinely incensed at having the croc talking in the middle of this gigantic hand. He's taking a walk. The question is, will he come back? 